Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's review we're going to be taking a look at the newly released Killer Body Transformers Bumblebee wearable electronic Optimus Prime helmet. A piece that is in my opinion the best Optimus Prime helmet that we have ever gotten. Now before we begin this review I first of all want to say a massive thank you to both Killer Body and Show Z Store for getting this particular review sample over to me here to review and there will be of course links down in the description box below where you can pick this up and of course add this to your collection. This is an astounding piece and is Killer Body's second release after their amazing voice controlled Bumblebee helmet that I took a look at in summer of last year. I am just so excited to show this particular piece off to you so let's take a look at the details. Starting off by taking a look here at the incredible detail as well as paintwork that Killer Body have indeed implemented into this helmet much like I mentioned in the recently released and recently reviewed over on the channel Killer Body voice controlled Bumblebee helmet I truly do believe that Killer Body are smashing it in terms of their sculpt work as well as their paint work I have no doubt in stating right at the beginning of this review that this is by far the best Optimus Prime helmet that we have ever gotten. You can see that as far as the mouth plate is concerned this looks as if it has jumped straight out of that Bumblebee movie and here into my review station. I also believe that a reason behind why this helmet does resonate so well for me is because in my opinion the Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime design is one of the best live action representations that we have ever gotten. You can see some incredible paintwork such as the subtle detail of rust around the edges of Optimus Prime. Prime's face mask. We also do have some incredible detail here on the side of the helmet and the eyes just absolutely blew me away, especially when we do activate the LED function. It really does help to bring this piece to life and looks as if I have literally just decapitated Optimus Prime and am now the new ruler of the Decepticons. You can see all the way around the eyes where the nose is concerned. We've got some exceptional looking sculpt work. The speaker too is actually concealed really well. It is this entire front crest section and you literally would not believe that this was the speaker. They've done such a good job with this. You can see some incredible paintwork there where the rust is concerned as well as this really awesome silver. As we take a look here from a side perspective you can also see some subtle paint applications in order to replicate some battle damage. So we do have some scuffs here on the sides of the helmet as well as around where the edges are concerned and then as we take a look here towards the ear section slash antennae of Optimus Prime this looks just as impressive as the entire front mouthpiece. You can see all of this here has been coated in this amazing metallic paint and you would easily be forgiven for actually believing this was a die cast material when in fact it has been made out of plastic. As we turn our attention here to the back of the helmet, this too is also another really well designed area. Much like the speaker at the front of the head, they have indeed managed to conceal both the volume adjuster as well as the Bluetooth on and off switch very nicely. This looks awesome and is actually a part of Optimus Prime's character design. So Killer Body have not taken creative license with this. They have merely taken what they've been given as far as the CGI design is concerned and have used it to their advantage. All of these dials here can rotate. This here is for the volume of which I'll demonstrate later on in the review and this here is to turn on and off the Bluetooth function which also I'll demonstrate later in the video. As we turn our attention here to the back of the helmet you can see some phenomenal detail as well as sculpt work and much like I mentioned when taking a look at the side of the head you would easily be forgiven for believing that this is a die cast material. As we turn our attention here to this ear you can see we've got some exceptional sculpt work as well as paintwork here on the back and the battery compartment has also been concealed really well. It is this entire attachment here at the top and just to demonstrate how this works you simply just want to flick this switch here like so and then this entire assembly will remove we can then just take this section open this up and he does indeed take four AA batteries which you will need to purchase before you actually pick this product up as the batteries are not included and then of course we can just take this snap that there over the top align this up appropriately and also snap this in there nice and securely and lock that into place. Another area of which I believe has been concealed exceptionally well and then turning to the actual underside here of the helmet they have indeed completely decked this here out in a really nice foam piece so that when you actually wear this helmet it does feel comfortable and so that it is more of a pleasurable experience when you do indeed actually wear this. So overall as far as detail and paintwork is concerned I think that this here is incredible. A really phenomenal representation of one of the best Optimus Prime designs of all time. Now if you thought that the detail, the paintwork as well as the sculpt work was impressive just wait until you see this electronic feature that this head does indeed possess. As mentioned earlier on in the review he does take four AA batteries so that you can power this helmet up and really behold the power of Optimus Prime. In order to power the helmet up you simply just want to hold this switch here on the side until the eyes activate and it will indeed make a power up noise. <laughs> 
As you can see, you will get a slight twitch of the mouth plate. The eyes will indeed light up an incredibly vibrant blue, and you will get this very loud sound as if Optimus Prime is ready for battle. We can then turn our attention here to the side of the helmet, which will also reveal a secondary switch, which when pressed will indeed activate the voice feature as well as the movable mouth plate. Autobots, transform and roll out. That, in my opinion, is just so, so awesome. Optimus Prime rolling out with the rest of the Autobots. And as mentioned, as this is a wearable piece, you can have this on your head, push that button, and behold the power of a true leader, Optimus Prime. Just to demonstrate the second voice chip that he does indeed have, I am Optimus Prime. You can see that he will state his name and that the mouth plate will also move in conjunction with the words being said. Just such an awesome feature. And to me, it is amazing that the voice clips are taken directly from the Transformers live action movie so that we are actually getting Peter Cullen's voice in the best Optimus Prime helmet of all time. Now proceeding to go into some of the further features of this helmet, you saw that he does indeed have the electronic feature. However, if the voice clips are a little too loud for your taste or perhaps you want them off completely, however, you still want the LED function to retain. That is where we can now turn our attention here to the back of the helmet and actually adjust the volume dial. So just to demonstrate that, if I just push this button here to activate the voice clip. Autobots, transform. You can see that if we do dial that anti-clockwise, it will indeed drastically reduce the actual sound of the voice clip. And then, of course, if we dial this all the way up to 100, as of course, if you're going to hear those words from Optimus Prime himself, you're going to want to hear it at full blast. We can then turn the helmet around here to the front, push this button. I am Optimus Prime. Autobots, transform and roll out. And the speaker quality is sublime, one of the best speakers that I personally have ever heard. And as it is only powered by four AA batteries, I find this to be remarkable. However, the fun does not stop there. Not only is this an amazing looking display piece and has some of the best electronic features that you would want from an Optimus Prime helmet, but you can also turn this particular piece here into a Bluetooth speaker. And to demonstrate that, you will need a USB cable and a power adapter, which is only five volts. You do not want any more than that, otherwise you will indeed cause some damage to the actual internals of this particular helmet. So I'm going to grab myself a cable and adapter and then we'll take a look at the Bluetooth feature. So now, turning to the helmet's Bluetooth capability, for this you are going to want to ensure firstly that the helmet is indeed turned off. You are then going to want to grab yourself an adapter which has an output of only 5 volts, nothing more than 5 volts, or you will cause some internal damage to the actual helmet itself. And then of course, you're going to want to grab a smartphone or any other device which does have Bluetooth capability. Turn your attention here to the rear of the helmet which will indeed expose a USB port. We can then take the included USB cable, snap that there into the back of course turn your attention here to the front of the helmet you're then going to want to push and hold the activation switch <laughs> until the helmet does power up. You'll then want to go into your Bluetooth settings and look for something which is called Optimus Prime, which is potentially the best Bluetooth hotspot that you will ever see. So activate your Bluetooth on your phone and it will automatically connect. And once it is paired, you will indeed get an activation sound, which will just reassure you that the helmet is indeed connected to your device. <laughs> After that noise has emitted, the speaker is now yours to control. And just to demonstrate the actual potential of the speaker, I'll play some music just so that you can get a grasp of how awesome this speaker is.
And there you have just a very brief snippet of music and I really hope that you were able to tell just how good the speaker on this particular product is indeed. Now before we move on to the actual wearability aspect of this, I very quickly want to demonstrate how you can indeed adjust the volume to any of the music you are listening to or any of the audio you are listening to through your smartphone or Bluetooth device. So just to demonstrate that, we can turn our attention here once again to the back, play the music again and I will just demonstrate how you can dial this down anti-clockwise in order to lower the sound. <laughs> Now, as mentioned throughout this review, not only is this an amazing display piece, but this is also a wearable item that you can actually put over your own head in order to man the power of Optimus Prime. In order to do so, it's actually very easy. All you have to do is remove these sections here on the side, of course, just so that there is no obstruction when you do actually try to place your own head within the hollow cavity. Just set those there off to the side. And as showcased earlier on in the review, the entire interior has been completely decked out here in foam. So of course, you just want to place this over the top of your head and here you have the Optimus Prime helmet fully installed onto your own head and in my opinion this is fantastic. As mentioned at the beginning of this segment not only does it make for a fantastic display piece but it is also a really fun roleplay item of course if you were going to a comic con this would look amazing and it is certainly a showstopper. With the helmet installed on your head you can also push the button on the side in order to sound like Optimus Prime himself. I am Optimus Prime. Autobots, transform and roll out. And as you also may be able to tell, my voice is actually coming through incredibly clearly, so this does not muffle your face whatsoever. The visibility is incredible despite this having LEDs. I have no visibility issues whatsoever, and that's because Killer Body have completely implemented mesh all the way around the LED section so that you can see very clearly out of it. I also like that none of the heavy components do rest on your nose nor your ears. Everything feels very comfortable. So as a bonus feature, I believe the wearability factor to be incredibly successful. And here for a Killer Body Bumblebee Movie Helmet size comparison, of course we have the Optimus Prime version as well as the voice controlled Bumblebee Helmet. And as far as detail is concerned, as mentioned throughout this review and the review I did on Bumblebee, I think that the detail, the paintwork, as well as the entire sculpt work is absolutely sublime. Both of them look as if they have jumped straight from the movie and to me at least, they really do appear as if they are props. This is probably the closest representation we are ever going to get to an almost one-to-one -one scale of some of our favourite characters from the live action movies. I think that both both of these look exceptional. If I had any complaints in regards to the Optimus Prime head, it's that unlike the Bumblebee helmet, this one here is not voice controlled nor remote controlled. I maybe would have liked to have seen a remote control feature so that when on display, you could simply just tap the remote control and the mouth plate would move instead of you actually having to push the button. But nevertheless, it still is a great looking piece. And I do actually think the overall functionality of its electronic feature is also really well executed. And so some final thoughts. Overall, I believe this to be yet again, another phenomenal piece by the team over at Killer Body. They truly have created yet again another piece of art which will take center stage in my collection. This is potentially the most faithful recreation of Optimus Prime's helmet design that we are ever going to see. This looks as if it has jumped straight out of the movie and here into my review station. Honestly, the sculpt work as well as the paintwork, whilst it may look exceptional on camera, in hand it is even more impressive. I also do believe that the electronic function is really well done, especially where the movable mouth plate is concerned, as well as those amazing Peter Cullen and Optimus Prime phrases. I also really do love the LED function and that it does not compromise visibility when actually wearing the helmet. And in all, I just think that it is a fantastic scale and the additional feature where you can actually transform this here into a Bluetooth speaker, in my opinion, is phenomenal. Whilst I maybe would have liked to have seen rechargeable batteries like we got in the voice controlled Bumblebee helmet, as well as a remote controlled feature, for the most part, I think that the overall execution of the electronics works really well. As a display piece, this looks sublime and as a cosplay piece, I also do believe that this will certainly be a showstopper. Overall, I am so glad that I do indeed have this particular piece in my collection as it is now one of my centerpieces. I also want to say a massive thank you to both Killer Body and Show Z Store for providing me here with this particular Optimus Prime helmet. And of course, there will be links down in the description box below where you can pick this up and of course, add it to your collection. I really hope that you enjoyed this review. And if you did, please do also let me know down in the comment section below. Also be sure to let me know your thoughts on whether or not you will indeed be adding this to your collection and what you think of this piece in general. I really hope that you enjoyed this review and until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.